Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Uh, what you could expect for Mercury retrograde for the zodiac sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So, um, uh, Mercury retrograde is occurring on um, September 27th to October 17th. We are currently in the shadow phases. Uh, so, uh, this is your ru ruling planet, uh, Gemini. So, uh, we're gonna see what, uh, you could expect, what you need to know, what is surrounding you during this time. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on um, when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that, that needs to hear this. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, Gemini, so let's get started. Uh, keep in mind that you could apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, this could be in anything. We'll see what the cards pick up. We're going to start pulling messages from the Oracle first. And then we'll clarify it with the tarot. And then we'll clarify the whole reading with more oracle, okay? All right, let's get started. Um, tell me about Gemini. What can Gemini expect for this Mercury retrograde occurring on uh, September 27th to October 17th? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Gemini need to know? What can Gemini expect? What is surrounding Gemini during this time? We have appreciation. Maybe you never felt appreciated. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like you're walking away to find your peace and stability here and balance, I feel. So we have appreciation, walking away, the garden at the gate. So I feel like there's this energy of trusting your intuition here. Um, so let's see what else we have here. I usually, I, 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 I flip, I, I flip this deck, so we'll see what we end up with. All right. Healers of the ages. Action. And the sun. So I feel like you're taking action towards a new beginning here. Um, who am I doing? Gemini. I feel like you're taking, I, f so I feel like maybe you've been dealing with a lot of people that haven't really appreciated what you've done for them. I feel like you were in this really giving, really generous energy. I just really feel like you're taking action to heal and move on from this. I feel like you're walking away from these individuals. Uh, maybe it has been a constant theme throughout your life up until this point. Uh, so I feel like you're choosing happiness here. But, uh, and perhaps I feel like you're choosing to surround yourself people with people who you appreciate and who appreciate you back. Why is Healer of the Ages here? We have the Page of Swords. So Gemini, there you are. Page of Pentacles. So some of these might be training or learning to be healers yourself. Reiki, shamans, witch, tarot readers, psychics, mediums. So, let's see. I mean, if you guys are learning to be healers, I feel like maybe people take advantage of you. 
Because when you do this line of work, you have to have boundaries too, really firm boundaries. For example, you know, people, um, you know, you shouldn't give more than what people have paid you for, for a certain thing. You know what I mean? Let's say, for example, if, you know, if someone pays for like a three question reading, you just cap it at three questions. If they ha ask any more questions, obviously they have to pay more, right? So you want to, you want to maintain those firm boundaries so people don't take advantage of, of you. Uh, maybe the lack of appreciation comes from there. Uh, from these people. Why is uh, action here? Why is action here? Why is action here? All right, the five of cups. And the ace of pentacles. So I feel like you're heading towards a new beginning. I mean, this new beginning could be in anything. A new idea, uh, or, or, or a new business, a new job, a new love interest, new friends, new ho new home. Feeling like it's like an energy of like the world is your oyster here. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? All right, seven of swords. With that Seven of Swords, I really feel like you're taking action, trying to get away from these people that are trying to, you know, take advantage of you, I feel. Why is the Sun card here? Give me one more. And the Moon. We have the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you have been dealing with people. I mean, we have a woman holding a heart on the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like you pour your heart and soul out to people. And I feel like you never get that back in return. I feel like you're gonna, I feel like you're changing things. I feel like you're trying to balance things out here with this yin and yang here. I mean, we have the storm, we have thinking woman here, we have victory. So, all right, let's see what, what else we have here. Wise Healer of the Ages, Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles here. It's time to release negative energy. I mean, maybe some of these might be working with a healer here. Maybe you're on a spiritual retreat or something like that. Yeah, to probably dispel or remove these negative energies, perhaps that has been attached to you trying to take advantage of you. All right, why is uh, action and five of cups and the ace of pentacles here? Why is that here? Prosperity lies ahead. So I feel like whatever you're gonna do here in regards to this new Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you're gonna be really, really successful in it. Uh, maybe it's something that you were putting up, putting off, maybe it was something that you were putting off for a very long time, and now it's coming back around. Now you have the opportunity to do it. Uh, why is the sun, seven of swords, and the moon here? And bring love into the situation. So I feel like these people that you've been dealing with here, I feel like the only thing that you could do for them is to have love and compassion for them and just let them go. A fiery climax approaches. What do you need to release? I feel like you're really taking charge here of yourself. I feel like you're taking action here to remove yourself from people that are taking advantage of you. It's been hard because I feel like you gave so much and you never got anything back in return. So, Gemini, there's a lot of changes coming for you. Yeah, I feel like you wear your heart on your sleeve and I feel like that's about to change because I feel like you're going to build up firm boundaries here. So, but to balance things out. So, Gemini, if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share it. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.